So it's time for another of those videos where I explain the name of a tube station. And today I thought I'd look at Hoban on the Piccadilly and Central lines. I pronounce it Hoban, but I've also heard it pronounced Holborn and Holborn. I actually did a video about mispronounced tube stations a while back, and I seem to recall that this was one of the stations discussed. I mean, I could just check it for myself, but, you know, I'm a busy guy. Anyway, the thing about Hoban Station, from the point of view of where the name comes from, is that it's quite a long way from the original Hoban. In fact, probably the best stations for the original Hoban are Farringdon and City Thameslink. Someone said in the comments once that I keep pointing out that Farringdon Station used to be called Farringdon and High Hoban, and this video will be no exception. For a more precise location, Hoban Viaduct spans the original Hoban. Hoban is a contraction of hollow born. Hollow just means hollow, so that one's nice and easy, but born is a fairly old-fashioned word that doesn't get used much. It means a river. Now, if you know the area, you'll be aware that there is no river visible. Of course, those of you who know your London history will no doubt be smugly saying, well, actually... And yes, you're correct. Well, actually, indeed. Well, actually, the bourne in question is the River Fleet, the river from which Fleet Street takes its name. The Fleet was the largest river in London, after the Thames, of course. It shaped the geography of the city, forming a kind of valley, hence the name Hollow Bourne. For the record, it's also possible that it's derived from Old Bourne, and yep, that works too. Incidentally, Tyburn is another place in London that takes its name from a Bourne. During the Anglo-Saxon era, the fleet was wide enough for ships to dock, but as the centuries passed, the residents of the city were not kind to the fleet. It soon became a vast open sewer, running right through the middle of town. As you might expect, this was not exactly a premium place to live, and so the area around it became a slum. In the 17th century, works were completed to turn it into a canal, but this didn't quite catch on in the way hoped. The 18th and 19th centuries were an era with scant regard for anything ancient. By this time, it had become known as the Fleet Ditch. A long way from the important part of the London docks it had once been, and few, if any, harboured a sentimental attachment to the old Bourne. Successive redevelopments and slum clearances resulted in the fleet gradually being covered up and turned into the sewer many felt it already was. The last of it disappeared beneath expanding Hampstead in the 1870s. The valley was spanned by bridges, turning this area into a double-decker urban environment of sorts. And so the hollow bourne disappeared from sight. The Hoban area shifted. The old Hoban area has many names. It's Farringdon, Ludgate, Clerkenwell, Smithfield, the city, the square mile, but if you say Hoban to most people, they probably imagine the area around the tube station. Which isn't really Hoban at all. Well, I do hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, please do click the like button and consider subscribing for more. If there's any other places whose name you're curious about, in London at least, let me know in the comments section. I'll see what I can do. I'd like to thank my donors on Ko-fi and Patreon. You are the enclosure to my open sewer. And I'll see you all again very soon. Cheerio.